hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel i am ruth if you are just stopping by for the first time today's tutorial is going to be a tutorial on how to draw your brows instead of by showing you guys the product i'm going to be using for this tutorial instead of with the brow spoolie and also the pencil i'm going to be using and now i am showing you guys the hair wax i would be using for this video and also you would be needing an angle brush and a concealer to highlight your brows so guys to draw your brows what i usually do while drawing my brows i usually start off by using the spoolie to brush out every hair on my brows then i go in with the hair wax i showed you guys before this hair wax guys is the normal hair wax everybody knows like some persons actually use it on their hair to style their hair but some other persons can also use brow gel like brands for example like tm essentials and thereabouts but for me i prefer using this particular hair wax so right now guys i'm just going in with this hair wax putting it on my brows bit by bit trust me guys when it comes to this particular step you don't want to rush things too fast you want to make sure that you're applying it bit by bit combing every hair all through because the aim of this hair wax on your brows is to make sure that every hair on your brows is standing out guys one little secret i want you all to take note about brow technique is that mistakes are inevitable when it comes to brows sometimes some persons just see some brows and they be like wow this brow is flawless trust me that particular person that you're admiring her brows she took a lot of time before it came out like that sometimes we tend to make little mistake when it comes to brows i think i even made a little mistake in this particular video so brows when it comes to brows mistakes are inevitable so right now i'm still using the same hair wax to brush up my brows and if you take note guys at this particular point every hair on my brows they are standing out and it is shining i told you guys before that the essence of the wax for your brows is to make every hair stand and one other thing is that after using this hair wax you wait a little bit for it to get dried so right now i'm just checking if the hair wax is dried because sometimes if it's not dried it tends to affect while drawing your brows so now i went in with my catch me lip pencil to draw my brows guys this is 2021 you all nobody starts by drawing their brows towards the beginning anymore like i don't know but for me when i am drawing my brows i just go towards the edge i start off by creating an outline towards the edge because brow technique these days you don't want your brows looking very very thick the aim of every brow is to make it look natural like as if you are not on any brows or you are not on anything at all that's the main aim of every brows these days to make it look very very natural but for the sake of this particular tutorial i made my brows look a little bit thick and bigger generally i don't even do my brows first i usually start off by doing skin work first before doing my brows that's how i prefer it but for the sake of this particular tutorial because you guys requested for this video a lot and i wasn't going anywhere so then i decided to do my brows first so you want to make sure that you are giving your brows an outline like you can see what i am doing just giving an outline towards the edge of my brows and i will do the same for the top you don't want to start your brows at the beginning giving it a very very thick line it doesn't work that way remember what i said before i said this is 2021 guys like brows these days the thing is brows these days is to look very natural you don't want your brows looking very thick so everybody will know there's a pencil or something really sharp there some persons even go ahead by starting from the beginning though but for me i prefer starting towards the edge of my brows because it gives my brows this very very natural and sharp look to conceal my brows i'm using the zaron concealer and one thing you guys should take note of when it comes to brows guys you want to go with a shade lighter while concealing the down part of your brows and if you notice for this particular routine i didn't start by going straight concealing straight i gave a gap or a bridge in between 
because sometimes some persons actually don't know how to make use of the concealer very well so they tend to do too much while applying that so you don't go straight immediately like you leave a tiny space like you're feeling the brows bit by bit you give it a little bit of space then you go back in just like i am doing now to complete the brows like to use the concealer to fill in your brows because if some persons if you go straight using your concealer they make a lot of mistakes likewise as i said before you guys i said mistakes are inevitable when it comes to brow technique you go in bit by bit like you don't apply your concealer directly i don't know if you guys are getting this particular point like i really wanted to hit a nail on this one so that you guys would understand i hope you guys understood what i was saying you don't go in straight with your concealer you go in bit by bit while applying your concealer for your brows then you also make sure that your brows doesn't exceed this particular line i just showed you guys because if your brow is exceeding that particular line it's no longer a brow like that is more than a brow if i can say that <laughs> so you want to make sure that your brows are not exceeding that particular line you go back in you check again sometimes you can even stand from afar and look through the mirror because sometimes if you are close sometimes your brow can look very very fine but when you end up checking your brow from afar you see that it's not looking like the way you actually wanted it to look also guys when it comes to me doing my brows most of the time i usually do not highlight the top of my brows like for me i love when my brows are looking very very soft and extremely natural sometimes i even i'm on brows but persons see me and they tend to be like are you even on brows at all so but for the sake of this particular tutorial i decided to show you guys also while highlighting the top of your brows because yes you can also highlight the top of your brows and it would still look flawless and it would still look natural as usual so it's the same thing i told you guys before i did that it down just that this time around i went in with my foundation shade for the top of my brows and that's exactly what i am doing you want to make sure that you are going in bit by bit some persons that usually do what's it called the skin routine first before doing their brows they most times do not highlight their brows because some persons are scared of making mistake at that part mistake are inevitable when it comes to brows so you can always keep on practicing because sometimes you do a brow you get it the first time the next time you do it you don't get it exactly the way you did the first time so one other secret about brows is that you have to keep on practicing don't just do one brows for the first time and feel oh yes i have gotten it and that says it all no i didn't even start getting my brows to this point i would not even like to you guys it took a lot of practice i used to be this girl that was always drawing very very thick brows like my brows back then oh my god <laughs> you can't even imagine at all they were so thick not until i decided to learn practice like when it comes to brows you have to give it a lot of practice and also you have to make sure that you want to take your time while doing your brows so right now i'm just going off clean the excess concealer on my brows sometimes you can even use a beauty sponge but for the sake of i'm not going anywhere it's just because it's a tutorial for you guys i'm just using a blendy brush some persons use beauty sponge some persons even go ahead of using their hand sometimes i use a beauty sponge sometimes i use this angle brush i am using sometimes i go in using my hand so it all depends on what suits you what works for you better and also you want to make sure that if you're not okay or satisfied with the brow like the way you did it you can actually go back in reduce from the down part of the brows like it's just a very very simple technique do you get so that's it when it comes to brow technique you guys and this is the finished look of my brows you want to see me popping my brows thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget to smash the subscribe button i love you all and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys